Neil Postman died in 2003. He never drove an electric car, he never used the iPhone, and although his words sound prophetic today, he never knew we would develop social media. Humans have a funny relationship with technology. We love to invent and create and make things easier for ourselves. But every time something new appears, something old is replaced or forgotten. Technology often progresses so quickly that it leaves people feeling unsettled in the world in which they live. This is why people often want to go back to a time where we were less concerned with modern worries and problems. A simpler time. Ever wish you were born in a different time period? It would have been pretty sick to live in the 80s. You ever wish you lived in a different time period? Honestly, man, yeah. I kind of wish I lived in like the 1940s. Say, Mac, you ever think about living in a different time period? Johnny asking the right question. Sometimes I think maybe I was more cut out for the old west. So, like, tell me, do you as a god figure man ever consider being born in a different period of time? Partner, sometimes I do wonder what it'd be like to live back in the dark ages. Have you ever thought about living in a different time period? Yes, peasant, I have considered the, the, such a thing. Sometimes I think of living in ancient times with the Greeks. Have you ever thought about living in another time? Oh, Kratos, so Bumby is my brother. What it would be like to live in the caves with our forefathers? Of course, these simple times all had their own complications and hardships, and every era of humanity has been marked by technological progress as well as a shedding of an older way. And people have always believed the way they grew up is the right way. Computer scientist Alan Kay puts it simply, technology is anything that was invented after you were born. Everything else is just stuff. But the last hundred years have marked a dramatic period of technological advancement. We split the atom, we walked on the moon, we decoded the human genome, we can swipe on our pocket rectangles a few times, and magically, a pizza will show up. And sometimes, it does feel like magic. But other times, it can be a little unnerving. Like deep fakes, where we can edit our faces to look like anyone in the world. I'm gonna show you some magic. It's the real thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's all the real thing. <laughs> but the greatest technological advancement has probably been in our ability to spread information and communicate with one another. When Gutenberg mechanized the printing press in 1436, it marked a turning point in history for this. In modern times, the internet and social media marks a similar dramatic turning point. Instead of a Gutenberg, we got a Zuckerberg. Before we go any further, let's ask a question. With the people around you discuss this, is new technology always a good thing? When could it be not a good thing? This is a vital question for us to consider. Just like the printing press and the internet, new technology will impact its environment in some way. And considering how far technology has come in the last century, it really makes you wonder what the future will look like. Ryan. Ryan Colbo. Ryan Bell Delphine Colbo, where are you? 
Oh, there you are. Hi, Dad. What are you doing out here, buddy? I feel like a caveman trying to discover fire. <laughs> Come on back in on your phone. I don't wanna. You never let me outside. Come on, buddy. We can cuddle up next to the sunset lamp and watch Tom Holland's newest blockbuster TikTok. Didn't you and Mom already watch it? We didn't get all the way through it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like five minutes long. Why would he make it so long, Daddy? Stop saying... Okay, no, no. I, I don't know, buddy. Like, it must have taken him ages, okay? I, like, like, Come on inside. You must be freezing out here. Yeah, I'm pretty cold. Yeah, I know, buddy. I, I could tell. I'm an empath, remember? But to the question of whether technology is good or bad, most people would say technology is neutral, neither good nor bad. And what really matters is how people use it. In reality, it's a little more complicated. And this is where our conversation with social media begins. Returning to Neil Postman, he said this about new technology, and it's fitting for our conversation about social media. Technology must never be accepted as part of the natural order of things. Every technology is a product of a particular economic and political context and carries with it a program, an agenda, and a philosophy that may or may not be life-enhancing and that therefore requires scrutiny, criticism, and control. The Book of Psalms begins with an encouragement to pay attention to where and how we spend our time in the company we keep. Using the image of a tree planted by a stream, it invites its readers to examine where they find their nourishment and fulfillment. Like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In modern times, we should be paying attention to those streams by which we are planted. If social media really does affect us, we should pay attention to how it's affecting us, to use scrutiny, criticism, and control like Neil Postman encourages us to. So let's do just that.